I think the building as a as a body actually one could actually look at it as a in an urban point of view. We felt that this artwork needed to in a way add the accent to the street. When we were approached to do the project, we, we felt that um, the substation should not just be a, a venue. Uh, we wanted to, to, um, to make something or to start something based on the dialogue between us and the building. So that was how the project started. So we actually look at the whole site as a whole and contextualizing it, which is why um, we started with uh, using it, um, looking at the facade of the substation as a starting point itself. So I guess um, subconsciously um, we start to personify the building and we see the building as sort of like an abstracted body and, um, which is why you know the title um, building as a body and um, instinctively um, you know the use or the selection of um, something tactile or soft you know it, it became like the natural choice you know of the construction but um, of course it's it's still done in a very logical and structural manner where we actually look at the design of the facade, the proportions and you know the different levels. Uh, actually, um, the design is actually derived from the, the, the actual uh, design of the, the facade. Yeah. In terms of the work that we actually designated, there are certain things that it comes just very naturally. In terms of uh, getting the materials and whatnot, and uh, Grace would kind of take the lead. And for my side, I'll take care of the construction drawing and dealing with the con contractor. I'm actually quite glad I could uh, put, um, basically make use of my, my fashion training because I realised that um, since um, we were working with all these um, fabric light strips, so we actually um, got the, the, the supplier to stitch um, loops um, into the strips so that we could actually hook them or, or slide them into um, this metal pole. For me, I think when I look at that, rope or that fabric, it was more on looking at constructability. But for Grace, I saw in her that, that she is looking at whether it, it, it does give a certain uh, intrinsic quality to it. So that's the soft touch. We kind of had a rough idea of where all these um, key points would be, but um, we could only tell when we were on site. Um, setting up the, the scaffolding of the structure and all that. So, um, I mean, um, we were all very thankful that um, we that the length of the, the fabric strips that we, we, we ordered, they were actually um, just nice. I think if there's one um, um, take on, on the permanence of this artwork is that if it could bring a rejuvenation of the, of the street within where this substation is with this artwork, then I think we have succeeded in, in trying to, to, to let this artwork speak for itself. When the project was done, when we finished uh, with the installation, when we looked at it, it felt like um, it was actually part of the building. And I think um, this is something very important because it feels right. Mm -hmm.